Ibrahim, Abraham. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Alif Lam Ra, I am Allah, the all-seeing. This is a great book which we have revealed to you, that you may bring humankind by the leave of their Lord out of different kinds of darkness into light, to the path of the Almighty, the praiseworthy. To the path of Allah, to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, and woe to the disbelievers for a dreadful punishment that will befall them. Such as prefer the present life to the hereafter, and forsake the path of Allah, and hinder the people from it, and try to paint it as crooked, seeking to undertake it by remaining crooked, it is these who have gone far off in error. And we sent no messenger, but he spoke the language of his people, so that he might make all our messages clear to them. Yet Allah leaves in error those who wish to remain in error, and guides him who wishes to be guided to the right path. And he is the Almighty, the All-Wise. And we sent Moses with our signs, saying, Bring forth your people from different kinds of darkness into light and remind them of Allah's favors and punishments. Behold, there are signs in these narratives for every patiently persevering and grateful person. And call to mind when Moses said to his people, Remember Allah's blessings upon you, when he delivered you from the people of Pharaoh, who afflicted you with painful sufferings, and slew your sons and spared your women to make them immodest, and in that deliverance there was a great reward from your Lord. And recall when your Lord made it known to you, If you indeed be thankful, I will bestow more favors on you, but if you are ungrateful, you will find that my punishment is, of course, most severe. Moses said, If you turn ungrateful, you and everyone on this earth all together, Remember that Allah stands in need of no thanks. Verily, Allah is self-sufficient, praiseworthy in his own right. Has not the important news come to you of your predecessors, the people of Noah, the tribes of Ad and Thamud, and those who came after them? None know them now but Allah. Their messengers of God came to them with clear proofs. But they put their hands again and again on their mouths, showing great resentment and out of rage, saying, We have already rejected that revelation you have been sent with, and in fact we are in disquieting doubt as to that faith you call us to. Their messengers of God said, Is there any doubt about Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth? He calls you to himself that he may protect you against your sins and grant you respite till an appointed time to the end of your lives. They said, You are nothing but a human being like ourselves. You desire to stop us from worshipping that which our forefathers have been worshipping, so you better bring us some manifest authority. Their messengers of God said to them, it is true we are nothing but human beings like yourselves, but Allah shows his favors by sending revelations and prophethood to such of his servants as he will. It is not possible for us to bring you an authority except by the leave of Allah. We put our trust in him, and in Allah alone should the believers put their trust. And why should we not put our trust in Allah? while he has guided us in our ways. We will surely endure patiently all persecutions you have subjected us to. So in Allah alone, let those put their trust who have learnt to put their trust in him. And those who disbelieved then said to their messengers of God, We will assuredly turn you out of our country, or you will have to return to our creed. Then did their Lord send his revelation to them, saying, We will invariably destroy these wrongdoers. 
and we will surely make you occupy the country after them. That promise shall hold good for every one of him who fears to stand before my tribunal and fears my threatful warning. They sought a judgment, but when it came, every haughty person and enemy of truth met with no success and was utterly disappointed. Jehenna lies before him, where he shall be made to drink boiling and repulsive water. He will try to sip it, but will not be able to swallow it easily, and death shall come to him from every quarter, yet he shall not die. Moreover, he shall see before him further harsh doom. The works of those who disbelieve in the messages and blessings of their Lord are like ashes on which the wind blows violently on a tempestuous day. They shall have no power to reap the fruit of their deeds. That is indeed an extremely ruinous error. Have you, O reader, not considered that Allah created the heavens and the earth to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom? If he so will, he can do away with you and bring forth a new creation. And that is not at all difficult for Allah. Beware of the day when people shall appear before Allah in a body so that the weak shall say to those who consider themselves great, We were your followers definitely. Can you not help to save us today in any manner against the punishment of Allah? They will reply, Had Allah guided us to a way of deliverance, we would surely have guided you. It makes no difference for us now whether we show impatience or remain patient. There is no way of escape for us this day. When the judgment of God has been passed and matter decided, Satan will say to these people, Verily Allah made you a true promise. And I also made you a promise, but I failed you. I had no authority over you. However, I called you and you obeyed me. Therefore, blame me not now, but you should blame your own selves. I can render you no help, nor can you render me any help, inasmuch as you're associating me as partner with God. I have already declared that I have nothing to do with it. As for the wrongdoers, there awaits them a grievous punishment. But those who believe and do righteous deeds shall be made to enter gardens served with running streams to keep them green and flourishing. There they shall abide in forever by the leave of their Lord. Their greeting therein shall be peace. Have you, O reader, not considered how Allah compares a holy word to a good tree whose each root is firm and whose every branch spreads out to the very sky. This tree goes on bringing forth its fruit at all times by the leave of its Lord. And Allah gives excellent descriptions of things for the people so that they may take heed. And the likeness of an evil word is as an evil tree which can be uprooted from above the earth. It has no stability. Allah strengthens those who have believed with the true word firmly established, both in the present life and in the hereafter. Allah perishes the wrongdoers, and Allah does whatever he will. Have you not seen those who have done away with Allah's favor for their ingratitude? They have landed their people into the abode of ruin. In Jehenna they shall enter it. What a wretched place to settle in. And they set up compeers to Allah to lead people astray from his path. Say, well enjoy yourselves a while. You are heading towards the fire. Say to my servants who have believed to observe prayer and to spend secretly and openly out of that which we have provided for them, before there comes a day of reckoning when neither bargaining 
nor fast friendship shall help them to get salvation. Allah is He who created the heavens and the earth, and He causes water to come down from the clouds, and He brings down fruit therewith to be your sustenance. He has made subservient to you the ships that they may sail through the sea by his leave, and he has made subservient to you the rivers also. And he has made subservient to you the sun and the moon, both moving constantly according to some fixed laws, and he has made subservient to you the night and the day. He has given you of all that you wanted of him by your natural demand. And if you try to count Allah's bounties, you will not be able to number them. Surely a human being is very unjust, very ungrateful. Recall the time when Abraham said, My Lord, make this would-be city of Mecca secure and a haven of peace, and keep me and my children away from worshipping idols. My Lord, a large number of people has gone astray because of these idols, to be sure. Then whoso follows me, he is certainly of me. As for the person who disobeys me, I can say only, you are indeed great protector against the faults, ever merciful. Our Lord, I have settled some of my children in an uncultivatable valley of Mecca in the vicinity of your holy house. Our Lord, I have done so, so that they may observe prayer. Then make the hearts of the people incline towards them, and provide them with fruits, so that they may always give thanks. Our Lord, you know all that we keep secret, and all that we make known. There is nothing, either in the earth or in the heaven, that may be hidden from Allah. All true and perfect praise belongs to Allah, who has given me, despite my old age, Ismail and Isaac. My Lord is, of course, the hearer of prayers. My Lord, make me a constant and steadfast observer of prayer, and my children as well. Our Lord, bestow your grace on us and accept my prayer. Our Lord, protect me my parents and the believers, against the faults on the day when the reckoning takes place. And, O reader, do not think that Allah is unaware of all that these wrongdoers do. He only defers their punishment to the day when the eyes of the people will fixedly stare in horror. They will be running in panic, with their necks outstretched and their heads erect. They will not be able to wink their eyes and their hearts utterly void of courage and hope. Warn these people of the day when the threatened punishment overtakes them, and those who are unjust will say, Our Lord, grant us respite for a short term. We will respond to your call and follow the messengers. It will be said to them, Did you not swear before now that you would never have a fall? You said this, though you occupied the dwelling places of those who had wronged themselves, and it had been clear to you how we had dealt with them, the unjust. We have set forth all these descriptions for you clearly. They have already hatched their plots. But even though they have plots that can move mountains, Allah has power over rendering their plots ineffective. So, O reader, do not think that Allah is going to break his promise he made to his messengers. Allah is Almighty, Lord of Retribution. Beware of the day when this earth will be changed into another earth, and the heavens as well shall be superseded by other heavens. And they, all people, shall appear before Allah, the One, the Most Supreme. And on that day you shall see these guilty bound together in chains. 
pitch will form their raiments, and the fire shall envelop their faces. This will be so that Allah may reward every soul according to his deeds. Verily, Allah is swift at reckoning. This Qur'an is a message to and sufficient to meet all the acquirements of all humankind. It has other aims to serve, and that they may be warned thereby, and that they may know that He is the only one God, and that those possessed of pure knowledge may take heed.